All right, guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing a you know a little bit of a tutorial on how to do a one-hit kill feature for a game called Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. It is one of my favorite games, you know, of all time. It is a very old game now. I guess it came out in 2003, I think. So that's wow, 15 years. That is quite an old game. Anyway, let's jump into it. So as you can see, I've already got the game up and running here. Go away, mission. Alright, so you, you need to make sure that you're in solo mode because you don't want these two clowns to be following you around when you do the work. So, basically, one hit kill function is when you shoot an enemy or an enemy shoots you, you are going to have a small amount of health deducted from your total health pool. Alright, so the one hit kill feature will go ahead and it will overwrite that small amount of health that's being decreased with the entirety of your health or a really big number so when you have that deducted from your health it's always going to end at zero and you're going to die in one shot does that make sense i hope so so basically it does depend on <clears throat> all games are different their decrease of functions and how they actually come to the end result are different and it does change so this game here okay so for example some games you're the health decreaser will be specific for the player character so all you'd need to do is just freeze the health decreaser and you'd never lose any health so bam instant god mode right that's really helpful when that is the case um, but that is not the case here the decreaser is actually for all entities be it you know an enemy you one of your party members um, a box or whatever I guess if there's a you know, anything that can be damaged so first off we need to find our health so we can locate this function in memory and let's do that all right so as you can see here our health is 24 so we'll do a quick health search for 24 spoiler alert guys i've actually made this function already um obviously just to streamline it, it took me a while to make it um i'm by no means an expert a um, bit of a noob actually if i'm being honest but let's go 24, so now we need to find somebody to give us a little bit of damage. Own Gamarine Elite, we don't really want to be fucking with him. Oh, alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nine, alright, so as you can see we have nine damage done to us, so that should be 24, take away, nine, 15, alright, easy. So we go 15, next scan. Okay, well I don't think it's going to be the top one, because that's changing all the time. So, this one, that's not right, 24, nope, nope, alright, there we go, now we have our health back up to full, so this is our health address, so what we need to do is try and find the decreaser from this, so obviously a, a program or a game or anything is divided up into a lot of functions, so this is what we're, we're searching out here, so find out what writes to this address, all right, let me drag this across here. You can see that this little line of code is being called a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, that's not what we want. We want, we only want the code that's triggered during a damage event. All right, so if we come in here and we go unpause, shit, they're all coming at me. Oh my God, all right. Um, quick, let's change this to 24 again. Uh, sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry. This one, alright. Alright, now, because we, we obviously don't want to die, that's going to be really bad. So, <coughs> excuse me. Show this address in the disassembler. So, here we have the function which decreases health, okay? Now, let's just stand back and take a look at this for a moment. As you can see, the line that we have, we no longer actually need this anymore, so let's close that up. The line that we actually paused at was this one here. This is where ESI plus 000 DC, our health, okay? Uh, well, this is where the address to our health is stored, okay? As you can see, ESI 0 A1296B0 with DC, okay? That is our health. EAX is our new health value after all of the computations have been done, all right? So that's being moved into ESI so that's the main damage part all right that's where it actually occurs 
So what we're going to want to do is set a breakpoint here. Toggle breakpoint. Now we need to unpause the game because obviously we've changed it back to uh, full health here. So we need to just unpause the game. Okay, so obviously a damage event has happened and we're in this function. Okay, so what do we have? <clears throat> ESI here is our health address okay as you can see it's slightly different than the one that we have here that's because it doesn't have dc added to it <clears throat> okay so as you can see here e a x um as you can see here b is 11 in base 10 is what is being from D which is 13 so 11 and 13 is 24 which is our total health okay so if you look here EDX plus EX so EDX is the actual damage that's 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 happening to our player now that's being deducted from our total health here which is EAX and then the remaining amount is you know being stored in EAX so then we have EAX being deducted or being sorry removed this has been moving EAX into our health address okay so hopefully that made a little bit of sense um, I'll explain it one more time we have EDX that's the blaster bolt that's being attacked at us or shot at us once it hits us it deducts that from our total health which is EAX and then the resulting amount which is stored in EAX after the computation is completed is then added into ESI plus DC which is where our health is at okay so what we need to do is we need to you know make it so it ignores damage that is done to us so we need to have some kind of comparison somewhere to see if ESI is equal to our health and we also need to change EDX to EAX so sorry yeah so then EAX is always being deducted from EAX so the result of the damage on the health is always going to result in a zero which is going to be our one hit kill okay so basically we will uh, get right into this here da -da -da. this is the first part of the code that we need to rewrite so this is where we're going to put our jump so what we're going to do is we're going to jump to a little a little area because uh, our, our function that we're writing here is actually going to be exactly 12 bytes which is really handy because we have one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here, we have twelve bytes free, doing absolutely nothing. So that's really convenient. So we have a CCF74. I'm pointing at the screen again. You can't, uh, you can't see that I'm doing that. My bad. So we're gonna want to change this to jump to this top address here which is ccf74 oh whoops okay so star wars.exe is the base address obviously okay so now you have when this function is triggered the decrease the function it's going to go through bang bam bam you know go through line by line it's going to get to this unconditional jump, it's going to go, oh, okay, cool, and it's going to come all the way up here, and then it's going to start executing the code that we write in this part. So, first bit of code that we're going to want to add is the sub EAX EDX, but we're going to want to make that sub EAX EAX. So let's go ahead and add that. Right. <clears throat> yes, it doesn't really matter how many bytes you're writing there, as long as it's not more than 12 because when you add more than 12 it's going to start rewriting over the function that you've got and that's where you're going to run into a lot of trouble all right now after you've done that you're going to want to add the code that compares whether or not it's you that's taking the damage okay so actually while i remember we're just going to remove this breakpoint So here, we're going to need that comparison, so we'll change this here to compare ESI 
Remember, that's where our health is stored. Sorry, that, that's our health, or the, the address of the entity that's taking damage. And we're going to want to add our actual health address, which, as we know at this point, is this one here, because we're the one that's taking the damage. So ESI is currently equal to us. If it wasn't us that was taking damage, ESI would be equal to them. Okay? So, 15C14638. Alrighty, six bytes, yes, that's fine. See, as you can see, it took up six of the 90s, all right, because each one of these 90s is a byte. So that leaves us with four bytes remaining, which is perfect because all we need is two more jumps, okay? So if we come in here and we go, hmm. all right, so if it is us, If it's not us, so the zero flag. Hmm. Okay, so this is if it's not us, okay? We're going to jump down to... If it's not us, we obviously need the damage line, which is this one here to be triggered. So we'll jump above it to here, CCF9C. Okay, yep, <clears throat> and if it is us, we're obviously going to want to jump straight over this line of code because we don't want to be taking any damage, so we'll jump down to uh, here, CCF84. Jump equal. why sometimes I do that sometimes I just it's not it doesn't matter if it's case sensitive or not here does it all right so let's take a look at what we've done it's going to jump in here this is where it first starts the function pushes ESI onto the stack for you know to retain the value for later on okay so that effectively means the ESI can be used so that's where the health is all right, so come on, come down, come down, come down, come down, come down, come down, jump. Oh, it's going to jump all the way out here to our code. All right, subtract the damage from the player's health, which is actually the player's health from the player's health. So it's always going to result in zero, one hit kill. Bam, good stuff. All right, now we're obviously going to want to know whether it's us. So this is where we do a little comparison, compare ESI to our health. If it isn't us, okay, it jumps down and it executes the kill code all right but if it is us it's going to jump straight over the kill code to here and then it's going to uh, you know keep going on about its business so um, as you can remember we are still actually triggered on a break point here so we want to run that all right let's click on it have a look and you can see stop attacking them man Okay, well, as you got a quick glimpse of there, um, the enemy obviously got killed in one shot every time I shot at them. But if I attack, if, if they attack us, see, there's no damage that's being done. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. We'll just to show you here, we'll remove the weapon and we'll punch this guy to death in one shot. Get him. Uh, Dexterity's terrible, come on. There we go. One shot kill. Alright, so obviously the the health address is going to change each time. Um, it's not going to be, you know, it, it's dynamic. It's not a static address. So you're going to need to, and however you go about writing your trainer or whatever it is that you're planning on doing, change this bit of code here, 15C14638, to be your health address at each time. Okay. Now, hopefully this video has helped anybody. Um, well, hopefully it's helped somebody. Um, if it was helpful, leave a like. Uh, you know, write a comment down below. If you have any questions, write them down. I'll answer if I can. As I say, I'm no expert. Um, yeah, have a good one, guys.